Okay, we have um, Brother Samir with us today, inshallah, we'll um, just talk about Dawa and how to give Dawa. Um, it's important to follow the steps that are taught by um, organizations such as IERA. IERA does um, you know, good training courses for Dawa. Uh, if you know any Dawa trainings in your area, it's good to go you know, to that Dawa organizations and do it there. Otherwise, um, you know, you can just start and then you can learn as you go, inshallah. So I'm just going to briefly explain how to give Dawa. Um, we usually follow uh, a step. Uh, it's, a, it's a step that was um, designed by scholars such as Yusuf Estes and uh, Brother Abdul Rahim Green. So um, the steps they follow is Go rap means proving the existence of God, God's oneness, and then you talk about God's revelation, um, prophethood, messengers, and and um, just go by steps. Uh, try to prove to them that you know there has to be a creator uh, or the signs of God. Um, so you know anything, uh, the universe, yourself. You can give any example, yeah. but you have to speak to them in a way that uh, they understand. Um, you know, it has to be their language. You know, they understand things around them, like mobile phones, how mobile phone is created. Then you can explain uh, or compare uh, the design of a mobile phone uh, to uh, the design of the universe or the design of the human body. And how to give dawah. Uh, the steps that I explained to you, do you remember them? Yeah, it was Gorab. Gorab, yeah. Uh, existence of God. Yes. Uh, his oneness. Oh, yes. Uh, revelation. Yes. And uh, the prophets. Yeah, prophethood. The prophethood, yeah. yes. So always use this map to guide you. Because you know when you're talking to someone, uh, you just, they, ask, they can ask you any question, and the questions will just. Uh, will not be related to Dawa, but you want the topic to be Dawa. So you have to um, be leading the conversation. You can't have um, you know, people coming to you and avoid arguments. So if, if there's an argument, that's not Dawa. Important is the roadmap that we say, we said go rap. Always use that. Uh, if they don't know the existence of God, don't speak to them about prophethood. You have to give them uh, the examples uh, of, you know, how do we know that God exists? You know, you can start off anything. Uh, nature, design, or even uh, the uh, fitra. You know what fitra is? Uh, the knowledge of God. Everyone knows this. Yeah. Fitra in Arabic. It's inside. Uh, it's inside yeah. everyone. So depending on the person, everyone has the knowledge of God. Uh, you have to be uh, leading the conversation, that's one thing. And the, the map that we said, go rap, always follow that. If you speak to them about the existence of God, if they don't accept that, if they like said, atheism, they don't believe in God, don't speak to them about other steps. Don't believe, speak to them about revelation until you uh, meet the criteria of the existence of God. If they accept the existence of God, then you go to the oneness of God. Okay. Yeah? So that's the, the first point is that you follow uh, the roadmap. You can't skip the beginning. Yeah. Existence of God, one yeah. So existence of God is important. That's, uh, that's your main goal, so that they can recognize that uh, there is one creator or one God. Okay, so you can explain to them in a language that they understand. Um, the examples around you, mobile phones, yeah. this building is man-made man -made yeah. object, a watch. Yeah, nothing come out of nothing. Yes. So, uh, you have to speak to them in, in, in a language they understand. Hi, you shake hands with them. You introduce yourself to them. You say, my name is Ahmed. Or you ask their name. You know, the more um, you reply to them, the more they will respect you. So, um, you know, the manners you speak to them is really important.
you have to be confident and then uh, you speak to them the way uh, I told you at the beginning the goal of that. Always follow that. That will help you a lot. Don't make that way so easy. Always follow that. So, so um, even if they ask you like questions like why all Muslim women are first, uh, you still shake hands with them, you still be nice to them and then try to go back to your topic, okay, you go to them, that's a very good question, but in order for you to understand that why Muslim women have to wear the hijab or why there is uh, conflict in the Muslim countries, um, then you stay in the existence of God today. Uh, you, may, you may quote, quote you know, verses from the Quran to say that you know, Islam does not permit killings or Islam does not do this or that. You get quotes from the Quran. But your main topic is going to be Dawah. So Tawheed, uh, the existence of God, that's what you're going to be focusing on. No political, no politics. No. Politics is just confuses people and that just wastes your time. So um, you can get more information from you know uh, online. Um, I era I think they provide a lot of trainings for now. I try to go to their website or look in look in your local area, see if you can find anything. That's important. So the main the main focus is to speak to them in the language they understand. For example, they don't understand Allah, they don't understand Islam. So you have to speak to them in, in, in their language. Make it an example of objects around you. Okay, inshallah. So Dawa is important, and um, you know uh, you have to learn how to do it. You have to do training. It doesn't um, it doesn't become easy. Just the, you doing it. It's you doing the training, learning how to do it. Watch videos or go to lectures, that will help you a lot. It's important to have the basic knowledge before you Of course, yeah. It's like anything. You know, in life, you go to school, you learn, um, then you teach. Um, in Islam, it has to be that way as well. You have to learn, you have to um, get reviews of the scholars, and then you do it yourself. That's the, the way of doing it properly. Okay. So it was nice speaking to you, Samir John. Hopefully you'll come at our event every year. Inshallah.